Last month, the paparazzi caught Mike Tyson in a wheelchair for the first time. The image shocked the public. In the latest interview on television, Mike Tyson frankly shared about what he is facing in health problems. Brace yourselves, fight fans, because the boxing world has just been rocked to its core. The legendary Mike Tyson has just unleashed a revelation so shocking that it's left even the toughest figures in the sport, including Floyd Mayweather, completely stunned. At 58 years old, Tyson has pulled back the curtain on a dark and personal truth about his life that's sending shockwaves through the entire boxing community. This isn't just another story. It's a bombshell that's brought tears to eyes that have seen it all. Get ready, because what Tyson has revealed will change the way you see him forever. All right, before we jump into the deep stuff, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Mike Tyson, also known as the baddest man on the planet, was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1966. He had a rough upbringing, which led him to a life of crime at a young age. But boxing, man, boxing was his way out. Tyson went on to become the youngest heavyweight champion of the world at just 20 years old. That's insane, right? He had this raw, animalistic power that no one had ever seen before. His knockouts were brutal, and his reign in the 80s and 90s was nothing short of legendary. But hey, everything comes to an end. Mike Tyson finally broke the silence on his health. And, let's just say, we won't get to see much of this legend now. Grab some tissues, because this one's about to take a tragic turn. All right, Ted, the other day I saw a picture of you. You were in a wheelchair. What was that all about? Oh, I have sciatica every now and then, it flares up, and when it flares up, I can't even talk. This is where things get real. Mike Tyson recently revealed that he's battling a life-threatening illness. Yes, you heard that, right? Tyson is facing a health crisis that's so severe that doctors aren't giving him any chance of recovery. It's a jaw-dropping revelation, especially when you consider how strong and healthy Tyson's been looking online. But hey, just because you see him crushing it on the mitts doesn't mean you know what's really happening behind the scenes. Tyson's always been a fighter, but this battle isn't one he can win with fists. It's a fight for his life, and it's a battle that's tearing through the boxing world like a gut punch. No one expected this, especially from someone as tough as Tyson. This shocking news has taken the internet by storm leaving fans and boxing pros in disbelief and even bringing tears to everyone's eyes. Obviously devastating news, I'm heartbroken, speechless. Mike Tyson let the cat out of the bag in a recent interview. Tyson stated, yeah, I wish I could say it's just another fight, but it's not. I've been keeping something under wraps for a while now, but I can't hold it in any longer. I got some bad news from the doctors and it's, it's real serious, Tyson continued. They're calling it cardiomyopathy. It's a rare condition, something that attacks the heart and muscle tissue at the same time. The doctors told me my heart's been weakening and it's spreading to my muscles. That's why I had that ulcer flare up on the plane. They said it was a sign things are getting worse. The ulcer flare up was just the beginning an early warning sign that something was seriously wrong. Now, with the full diagnosis, Tyson is facing a reality that no amount of training or mental toughness can prepare him for. The doctors aren't sugarcoating it either. They're not giving him any chance of beating this illness. It's a devastating blow to someone who's built his life on being unbeatable. The news is as sad as it gets, and people are having a hard time processing the truth. We all know the buzz that erupted when Mike Tyson and Jake Paul were set to face off on November 15. Tyson's return to the ring had the internet going wild. But just when we thought the hype couldn't get any bigger, things took a dramatic turn. Tyson has opened up about the serious health issues he's battling, throwing a major wrench into the fight plans. Mike was more than ready to step back into the ring, not just to feel the thrill of the fight again, but to land a knockout punch on Jake Paul, who many would argue is the most punchable man in boxing. 
I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody know this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here just stealing money fighting him. And let's not forget, Tyson was in phenomenal shape. He was pushing 60 and he still looked like an absolute beast. The man was defying age and proving that he could still hang with the best. That's why this medical setback caught everyone off guard. No one saw this coming, especially from someone who seemed as unstoppable as Mike Tyson. Day three, you still wanna f with me? Joe Rogan had his doubts about this fight from the very beginning, and here's why. Tyson was initially set to fight Jake Paul back in July, but things took a turn when the heavyweight legend suffered an ulcer flare-up during his flight from Miami to Los Angeles. If a simple flight could cause that much trouble for Tyson, then stepping into the ring for a full-blown boxing match with millions of eyes watching should be far out of the question. Rogan saw the red flags early, and now it's becoming clear that his concerns were spot on. When is the Mike Tyson fight? December. It's supposed to be in November. Supposed to be. But that is... Who knows if it's ever going to happen. I mean, Mike has ulcers. He does. He's a 58-year-old man old with old man ulcers. thing ever to get yeah. out of the fight. Oh, Mike. That's Mike like Tyson. a CEO problem. Yeah. Now, we can't talk about Tyson without mentioning his mentor, Cus D'Amato. Cus was the man who took Tyson under his wing and molded him into the beast we saw in the ring. But here's where things get deep. Tyson has recently talked about how his relationship with Cuss was both a blessing and a curse. Cuss was like a father figure to him, and Tyson loved him dearly. But Cuss was also a tough old-school trainer who believed in the kill-or-be-killed mentality. Tyson has admitted that Cuss instilled in him this belief that he had to be the baddest, meanest, and most feared fighter out there. And while that mindset made him unstoppable in the ring, it also made Tyson feel like he had to be that way all the time, even outside the ring. You know, so odd that you said it. My, my mentor, Customato, his objective was to think of nothing. You're nothing, nothing's nothing but the objective, the job. Mm. And that was his psychological warfare. You know, nothing matters. You're nothing, nothing. My only thing that matters is the objective and getting mm. through, accomplishing that objective by going through these methods of boxing. Do you ever stop and think about how fortunate it was you ran into that guy? <sighs> Listen, um, to this day, I really don't understand that. So how did this happen? Because so did, many people... Listen, by the time I was born, he was 66 years old by the time I was born. Yeah, crazy. Tyson talked about how he never learned how to be just Mike, the person. He only knew how to be Mike, the fighter. And that's something that messed with his head for years. It's a tragic truth but it's also a lesson about the importance of balance and finding yourself outside of your career. Now he's at a stage where he doesn't have much time left. Even after the fame and all the glory, he doesn't feel fulfilled. Now, let's get real. Mike Tyson has always been known for his ferocity in the ring, but outside of it, he was battling some serious demons. Tyson has recently revealed more about his struggles with mental health something that wasn't talked about much back in his prime. He's opened up about how he felt trapped in his own mind, like he was constantly at war with himself. Tyson admitted to feeling empty and depressed, even when he was at the peak of his career. Imagine that, having everything you ever dreamed of, but still feeling like it's not enough. No way, That's the, the success is the reason why my, I tore my life apart. You know, um, this is what I found out with the psych that tearing yourself down is just as motivating as tearing yourself, bring yourself up. So I get the double whammy, I become this great guy, mm. and I tear him down, I get that power too. Mike Tyson's legacy is already cemented in the history books. From his rise to the top as the youngest heavyweight champion, to his brutal knockouts that left opponents on the canvas. When someone says, Mike Tyson, you hear power, fear, and domination. But now, his legacy is being tested in a way no one could have predicted. All we can do now is pray for the legend, 
because this is the fight of his life. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.